Okay, so I woke up this morning and I was flipping through news and I saw this news article uh, that said that Marvel, the Marvel movies were considering making Xavier and Magneto black guys. And so then I was like, okay, I wonder what the internet's reaction is to this, right? Because oftentimes when it comes to stuff like that, like the alt-right side of the, the comic book community, and then looking at like the rest of the internet as a whole, it's usually kind of fun to just kind of sit back and watch things pop off, right? Like it's, it's just kind of funny to watch things go crazy, right? Because more often than not, it's usually people who are just too heavily invested in comics. I've been reading them for 25 years. I'm not really like heavily invested in comic book characters anymore. I was like 20 years ago, <laughs> but not anymore. Now it's just kind of like, like, things change, whatever, who cares? But I'm also 35, I kind of stopped giving a crap a while ago. Uh, so, the, the the funny thing about this is I, I was going through and I was looking at these different articles and some of them referenced the source material, some of them didn't. But the ones who referenced them, from what I've been able to tell, all this stems from Full Circle Cinema, right? This website that had this article uh, and the title of the article is Marvel Studios Considering Making Professor X and Magneto People of Color in X-Men Reboot and apparently it's an exclusive. So I said, okay, let's let's read this. Like let's because I mean right off the top, like that's that's a super clickbait title, right? So you know, in this day and age, one of the things you kind of have to be aware of when it comes to the news is it's really more about titling than it is about the article. And so sometimes you get facts, sometimes you don't, right? I mean, in this day and age, there's no real differentiation between like the onion and everything else, right? So I was like, okay, let's let's read the article and let's see what it says. All right, here's what the article says. The X-Men could have a unique twist to them when Marvel Studios rolls out their inevitable reboot. Uh, Kevin Feige and company are considering making people of color portray both Magneto and Professor X in the MCU full circle cinema has learned. That first statement is very, very important. While this change wouldn't alter much for Charles Xavier as he was born in New York to a wealthy family, it may lead to Marvel Studios taking some liberties with Eric Lyncher's origin. In the pages of Marvel Comics, Magneto was born in the 1920s to a Jewish family. During World War II, Eric was sent to Auschwitz, a Nazi concentration camp. Not really sure why you need to be told it's a concentration camp. It's one of the most historical and important places in the history of the world because of the atrocities that were committed there. Uh, with the current MCU taking place in 2023, it's difficult to imagine a near 100 year old Magneto taking on the X-Men. Uh, Marvel Studios will also have some difficulty, uh, some steps, I'm sorry, Marvel Studios will also have to take some steps to differentiate its incarnation of the X-Men from what Fox has done over the better part of the last two decades. Making two of the potential leads of the franchise people of color could be a huge step in doing that as well as helping to push the diversity of the MCU forward. Uh, earlier this year, Kevin Feige spoke about representation in the MCU and how he believes it's the future of the franchise. Uh, so the notion of representation on screen, I'm quoting Kevin Feige here like they did. Uh, so quote, the notion of, uh, so the notion of representation on screen in front of and behind the camera, somebody asked me once, so is Black Panther a one-off? I said, no, it's not a one-off, Feige told the rap. This is the future. This is the way the world is and, uh, and the way certainly our studio is going to be run going forward because it brings about better stories. The more diverse the group of people making the movie is, the better the stories. When the X-Men, uh, end quote, when the X-Men were to make their live action debut for the 2000 film, uh, 2000 film, Fox enlisted veteran actors Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen to tackle the roles of Professor X and Magneto. They would portray the characters until the studio decided to do a soft reboot of the franchise with X-Men First Class, and James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender took over the roles, although McKellen and Stewart would appear again in Days of Future Past alongside their younger counterparts. Now, basically it ends and says, would you be excited to see Professor X and Magneto, people of color in the MCU, who should portray the duo and Marvel Studios X-Men reboot? Let us know in the comments below. Here's my question. At what point, anywhere in the article, does it say that Marvel Studios is considering making Magneto and Professor X black guys? Like, at what point in that article, at what point in what Kevin Feige said, does that seem to be the case? What Kevin Feige said is, we want more diversity on and off camera. Like, more diverse people making movies and more diverse people in movies. At what point did Kevin Feige even reference the X-Men in what he said? See, this is a combination of two things. This is a combination of a news company being lazy, right? Creating a clickbait title and then not having much going on in the content. I mean, they literally said, like, like, what is it? Uh, that that uh, Marvel Studios is considering having people of color play both Magneto and Professor X in the MCU, Full Circle Cinema has learned. Where did they learn that? Like literally, because all this all this comes down to is like Marvel wants to make the X wants to make Magneto and, and Professor X black. You have to believe us. That's basically what this comes down to. <laughs> so this is a combination of two things. It's a it's a news company being lazy, trying to make a name for themselves, and in the end, 
but like I imagine it'll backfire because I think people who read the article will realize like they're just making shit up basically. And then it's, a, it's the other side of it is just people being lazy, people reading the headline and not reading the article. That, that's really all that comes down to. There's no way you could read this entire article and walk away from it believing that Marvel wants to make Professor X and Magneto black guys. There's, there's no reason, there's no way that a reasonable human being could walk away and believe that, right? I mean, you could believe that if you want to believe that, right? Like, if what you're doing is you're looking at, at the idea, like if you're an individual who's like, I'm not in favor of just like making a white person black, although I am in favor of making a, a white American British, uh, which I never really understood how you reconcile that, right? I mean, if, if the legacy of the character is important, well, the legacy stays important, you know, regardless of what their skin color is. I mean, it's not like everything that Xavier did was based on his skin color. He wasn't part of Friends of Humanity, which was basically a stand-in for the Klan, but against mutants. He wasn't part of like the right, which was this crazy right-wing organization in the comics. He wasn't a part of like, William Stryker's uh, purifiers, which were like these evangelical Christians who believed God wants them to kill mutants. There was nothing that Xavier really did that was predicated on, I'm doing this and I can do it because I'm a white guy. Like it's, it's nothing was based on that, right? So if the legacy is that important to you, then their skin color wouldn't matter. So like that dog don't bark, right? That that argument doesn't float, uh, that argument doesn't float. But um, maybe in the world of it, it does because everything floats. We all float. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's, it's people who just, who, who, did, who didn't read the article and just ran, ran off with the headline. Right? It's just people being lazy is all it really is. I mean, if you're a person who just read the headline and didn't read the article, then I'm calling you lazy. Like that's basically what it is. I mean, you're, you're a lazy human being because it's, it's, it's silly. Like it's, it's nuts. People are getting bent out of shape about nothing, right? They're getting bent out of shape about there's like it, one, it's a rumor. So even, even if, even if Marvel was considering it, like they're considering it, right? Like Sony was considering a movie where like Aunt May was a secret agent. We never got it. Thank God. But like, I mean, it's, it's, it's even if, it, if there was some shred of truth to it, it'd be based on a rumor. They, they like this news article offers nothing to back up their claim and the information they do provide has nothing to do with their claim, right? So for all the glitz and glamour here, they might as well have titled this article, uh, Marvel Studios considering making Professor X and Magneto people of color in the X-Men reboot and then talked about stars and rainbows. That, that's what they might as well have done here because it doesn't really matter for anything. Now, their purpose is served because they have me and other people talking about it, but hopefully talking about it will bring light, will shed light on this and then kind of reveal that like they're full of shit and then people will kind of consider them to be a, an unreliable source right because my my question after this and after reading this article was well, maybe these guys are like the Charlie Intel of the MCU world, right? Like Charlie Intel is a guy who basically has all the inside information on Call of Duty, right? So like if Charlie Intel comes out on Twitter and says, here's what uh, what Activision is thinking about doing, or like here's what Activision is doing with like the newest Call of Duty, you can usually take it as gospel truth, right? Because Charlie Intel has almost never been wrong. So I was looking at this and I was like, okay, well maybe Full Circle Cinema is one of these groups where like they have a following because like they usually like they have inside information and they kind of throw it out and they keep their sources secrets. They don't have to worry about losing their jobs at Marvel Studios. No, I haven't found anything about that. Like this channel's, it doesn't show the subscriber count. And they get like 200 views a video. So I was like, okay, I mean, like from what I understand, it's a small little, you know, little news thing, I guess. I don't know if they're owned by anybody else, but there's nothing out there that indicates that like they've got inside sources and this is a thing to be believed. Uh, it just sounds like they're full of shit and they were just making a clickbait article. So, um, hey, here's the important thing, guys. Don't just read titles. All right, that's a lazy man's response, right? Like don't just read the title. I mean, if that were the case, then like the New York Times could print an article called The World's Ending and then people would lose their minds because they thought the world was literally ending. When in reality, the world is ending in like the boys TV show on Amazon. And it was just that people freaked out because they were too lazy to read the article, right? So don't be lazy, right? Don't be a lazy person who just doesn't take the time to read an article, like read the contents of the article. And then what you'll find is that instead of sitting in these circumstances and having egg on your face like you do, you'll actually go through there and realize, hey, maybe I shouldn't say anything because then I'll look like an idiot when the truth comes out. But with that being said, guys, we're gonna bring this video to an end. Uh, if you guys are new here to Comments Explained, make sure you guys hit the sub button to become part of the Rob Core. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and I will catch you all later. Peace.